All right guys, so today we are working on the 55. I've been feeling bad about it because it's been so neglected lately. We've had so many other things going on and um, we really need to fix some of these little things that it has going wrong. Number one being the header on the driver's side, one of the header tubes is not attached to the flange anymore and it needs re-welded because it's got a bad exhaust leak and it rattles and it just sounds terrible. You can't drive it that way. It causes uh, burnt plug wires and things like that. So we're going to get this header off, um, fix the welding on it, uh, reattach it to the flange, clean this thing all up, go through it, and I believe we've got somebody coming out to look at it this week that is going to give us a quote on getting a paint job. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, so I believe, uh, I'm not going to say their name yet, but a local local person here in Columbus, Ohio, very, very reputable business, um, do awesome job. They're going to look at it and see what they're going to charge to paint it, because the paint is just coming off this thing terrible. Um, I mean, the, the hood is... When they painted this, the last time they painted this thing, they stripped it down to bare metal and they just put black lacquer paint on it. So it's literally bare exposed metal and that's that's not good. The, the whole roof is pretty much bare. The trunk, bare. The only thing left is really the sides. You know, what doesn't take a lot of the beating from the sun. So I'm, I'm in the mood to start working on this thing and um, we're gonna fix it up a little bit. It's, it's seen you know, a couple short films now and uh, we've definitely gotten some good content with it. It deserves some love. It's been overdue. So let's get to work. This header's fighting us getting out of this car. Um, I don't know why. I don't know how it got in there in the first place. But I cannot get that header out of there. Soon we will be out of daylight. We're going to be out of daylight soon. And we're, gonna, we're still out of electricity. Still out of electricity. We're supposed to be back on at 4 o'clock. So I can't put it on the lift. Uh, don't really have any good lighting getting frustrated so I think we're gonna steal Molly's Mustang and uh, we're gonna take out some frustrations and normally I wouldn't steal anybody's car but in this instance I feel like I've helped build the car I'll do all the work on the suspension put the engine in it I've replaced the clutch twice I've put the transmission in done a lot of work on this car. I feel like it's a fair trade deal that I get to go out and beat on it every once in a while. Me and Molly have talked about it. As long as I don't race somebody without her knowing, it's cool. So I get to drive it every once in a while. Just to ease my frustrations a little. I get to take it out of the Mustang. 
to get a sport. Everything appears fine. Out of fuel. That's what it acts like. Hello? Can you bring me some E85? Yeah, what's going on? To my location. I think your car's out of gas. Did you? Are you it says it? it's under half a tank. It's like just under half a tank, and now I ran out of fuel. He's in trouble now. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's what it yeah. seems like, anyways. Then you put them in the garage. What happened to Eddie Grimes? You forgot to put fuel in the car. Man, I don't know what happened. Just sometimes you forget to put fuel in it, I guess. <laughs> I get the easy job. Hi, Weasel. Are you uh, operation supervisor? Oh my goodness. Operation super supervisor. That's you. You took my car and you didn't tell me to go get ice cream. We want to get ice cream. Oh shit. Does this mean I can drive your truck? Yeah. You always take off in my Mustang, and every time I ask to drive your truck, ever since I made a pass, ever since I made a pass in his truck. And I asked to make another one, you're like, oh, yeah. Break it, you buy it. I have there you go. Pay the shit for him. That was meant to be. How funny is that? These are available on my website, by the way. Oh, that's perfect. I know. That's what I was like, <laughs> meant to be.
super nice. Adjustable and wrench. How many you got? 20, 30 yeah. left. I have a ton. I haven't sold any of. yet, actually. They've been on my site for a month. Might have to do a sale on them. Um, Coming in clutch. Now. What? The uh, Turn the key on. on. I don't hear the No fuel, fuel pump. Yeah, no fuel pump. I usually hear it. Billy and Molly went to get the trailer. And I'm on Mustang Watch. I can't even have fun if we try. If it was raining pussies, I'd get hit in the head with a dick. <laughs> So as it turns out, you might be able to drive, but you break shit all the time. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Here's my crew. Thank God they're here. I feel out of my element. I need more Chevy stuff. Do you feel a little out of your element right now? Yeah, like I feel like I need to go drive around the pits in circles. That's what I was saying. I was like, what the hell is everybody doing? You gotta go drive around the pits in circles at least six times to get her warmed up. <laughs> get all the fluids hot. You do that, you break all your rocker arms. Yeah, I would. I can't do that. <laughs> One strap in. Our hillbilly is really shining. It's slow car night. <laughs> <laughs> They're all driving around in circles, warming up their rear axles. Slow car night, slow car night, slow car night. Bracket guys. Hey, that was you. Once. It was. Number here, not a name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a name to me. No time. Today. You ever lose it when you do a big wheelie? No, not yet. No. <laughs> Maybe this time. The new engine. that first run go on a prep track 
it felt slow, but it was pretty fast. Um, we, we went a pretty decent number, actually probably the best number we've been on this motor. And um, really good mile an hour. We, uh, we noticed on the GoPro that it was a little rich still on the leave, and there's definitely room to improve in the 60 foot. Um, we're gonna put three degrees of timing in it, two and a half, three degrees of timing in it. The air fuel up top looks good. It's like four, two, four, three. That's where this engine seems to like it. Made, Dad made a power valve adjustment in the front to help keep keep the power valve closed until some more boost comes in, keep it lean, and uh, make sure that we can do a good burnout. Um, the burnout was really rich. It didn't sound very good, and it was rich initially when it first took off. So we're gonna see what it does now. out this video so we can go home. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> She got a fuel pump go out. Yeah. Fuel pump burn up, relay burn up somehow. We'll get it fixed and we'll be at King of Columbus Saturday. And then we're going to Pacemaker Sunday too again, right? Yeah, Pacemakers is having another race Sunday. We don't want to go too far with the truck yet just because we're trying to get it dialed in. I think we've got the fuel curve pretty close. I like where the air fuel's at. I made some timing adjustments today and it picked up power. So um, we're sneaking up on the tune. It's good that we were able to come out here and make passes without having to worry about spinning. You just make nice clean passes and you know you can see how much you improved every run without wheel speed. So we'll get it fixed and we'll be out there this weekend.